Welcome back to Learn with Sam and Ash. In this video, we are diving into the English proficiency testing with the DET, the Duolingo English Test. Whether you're planning to study abroad or to enhance your English skills, the DET or the Duolingo English Test is the best test out there. The reason? Well, there are a few features making it the best option out there. Now, I know you have gone through these features earlier in our previous videos, but these are important features which will help you to understand DET more. Let's have a look at those six features. First, adaptive testing. The DET is an adaptive test. It means the question difficulty adjusts according to the response provided by the students or the test takers. Second, entirely online. The DET is conducted entirely online, allowing the students or the test takers to conduct the test anywhere in the world with a reliable internet connection, a proper laptop or a computer, and a working webcam and mic. Three, quick results. The test takers receive their score within two days of completion of the test. Well, isn't this amazing? This feature makes the DET the fastest test out there when it comes to result delivery. Four, speaking section. The speaking section in the DET is AI score, eliminating any need for recorded answers or in-person interviewer, ensuring consistency in scoring for the test takers. Five, affordability. Compared to other English proficiency tests, the DET is relatively affordable, and you know what I'm talking about here. Six, security measures. The DET employs various security measures, including facial recognition technology and plagiarism detection to maintain test integrity and prevent cheating. Now, let's get to the main part of the video, for which you came to the video, the exciting updates about the DET. Every year, the DET updates the test to make sure it is up to date and is providing the most accurate assessment for your English skills. Well, this video will take you through three important changes the DET made this year. Remember, even with the three changes, the test stays under one hour. So let's get into the important changes. First, interactive writing. This is the most exciting DET update. Here, you'll be provided with a prompt and you're supposed to write on that prompt for five minutes. Now, this was done previously as well, the same way. But what's new here is that you will be given another prompt, well, with the same topic and you're supposed to write for three more minutes. So the topic is same, you just have to get deeper in the ideas, you know, more ideas and more elaborate about the idea. And you are allowed to look into both the prompts at the same time, the five minutes prompt and the three minutes prompt. That means your accessibility of both the prompts. Now, if I tell you one tip, it'll help you a lot to get a better score and that is proofreading. Basically, like I said, you can go up to any prompt in that time frame of five minutes and three minutes together, you should read your answers before you submit. Because we make grammatical mistakes and you know spelling mistakes that we don't even realize. So proofreading is must and will enhance your score for sure. Second, the read and select. There are some exciting changes here as well. So basically there will be a screen where you will have multiple words. You're supposed to choose the correct words. Some words are correct, basically real English words. Some words are not real English words. You're supposed to choose the real ones. But now, after the update, you'll be able to see one word on one screen. So it removes that clutter feeling as well as it makes it easy to select the word. You'll be given five seconds to select the word. And then you have an option of selecting yes or no. That means yes, this is a real English word or no, it isn't. I would suggest you to look at the word carefully. And you need to trust two important aspects. First of all, your instincts and trust on your English language skills. Based on that, select what you feel is correct and press yes. And if you feel the word is not a real English word, press no. So by removing that clutter of multiple words and adding one word per screen makes this an amazing change. Three, fill in the blanks. Unlike the previous two questions where we made changes, this is a new one. Here, six to nine questions will be there on the display, one after another. One question or one statement per screen. Now, I must say that if you want to find the right answer, take some notes. First of all, read the full statement, understand the context of the blank. That enhances the chances of you getting the correct answer. Secondly, don't send until you find the right answer and also read it properly. 
Remember that it's all about context. So you have some contextual clues in the statement. Use it to find the correct answer. Now mark your calendars because the DET update is rolling out on 2nd April 2024. Now yes, if you want to take the previous version of the test or the current version, you can take it till that date that is 2nd April 2024. After that, you have the updated version and the three important changes which I mentioned in this video. If you're serious about the test and you want to dive deeper in the DET, the DET team experts are organizing a webinar. The link for the webinar is available in the description. I would suggest you to click on it. You will get a lot of insights into the test, the updates, and you will understand more about the DET. This webinar will help you to find key insights as well as ways to find answers to DET. And not just that, the structure of the DET. I hope you enjoyed the video and you understood something new, especially the three changes that are coming to DET on 2nd April 2024. Well, remember that you can take the free DET test from the website provided in the description. It will help you to understand what the DET is and of course it's free, there's no loss. In fact, you'll enjoy the test. I've tried it, it's amazing. Take care.